The Knight Darcy, Darcy? I don't know, I don't speak French. Is probably the second strongest character overall and starts off pretty strong no matter how you build her. First off, choose to play her intro. Step aside and dodge to learn fast stance. The other option teaches you defense stance. They're both really strong skills, but we need fast stance to learn a glitchy skill as quickly as possible. Second, break ties with your family. This is one of the two choices you need to make to learn dash. Third, take the rear and manage defenses. Spearheading the assault gets you much better equipment, but we need a weapon compatible with leg sweep. While weapons compatible with leg sweep are common, they aren't guaranteed. And if you want to gamble in getting the weapon you need when you explore, you can spearhead the assault instead. But for now, pick defenses. Fourth, rush straight after him. This is the second choice you need to learn dash. Use dash to run away from fights. If you have to fight, check my other videos for how to win against your enemies. First thing you want to do is go north into the level 1 entrance. Somewhere along the north wall, there's a door that leads to the level 1 courtyard. If you come across some bookshelves in the entrance, make sure to grab the books before you leave. Go straight north through the courtyard and keep an eye out for a wooden door on the top right of the courtyard. It's not always there, but it has about a 50% chance of being there. You'll need to come back to it later. Go through the big doors in the courtyard to the inner hall and kill the two dark priests. See my video for how to just do it safely. You'll find a purifying talisman and a soul stone. Use the soul stone on one of the priest's bodies to get a lesser soul. Head south. If the sealed wooden door was in the courtyard, use the purifying talisman to open it. If the sealed wooden door wasn't in the courtyard, it's somewhere in the level 1 entrance and you'll have to look for it. Once inside, talk to the Hexen table and learn the skill Leg Sweep. You're not actually going to use this in fights, you're going to save it for doors. For some reason, this instantly defeats doors. Hop down the well in the courtyard and go left. Somewhere in this room is a pair of blue double doors that talk to you ominously. Break down the doors with leg sweep and head inside. You'll find Miasma, one of the best swords in the game. Now head right and north to find a door to the level 3 basement. If you chose to spearhead the assault, this is a good place to try and find a weapon to break down the door to Miasma. If you don't find any, just start over on a new save file. In the top left of this room is a save point. Use it once, because this next part is a little risky. Head further north into the level 3 prisons and look for a spiral staircase behind a closed door. Once again, use Leg Sweep to bust it open. Go down the spiral staircase of level 7 catacombs, then head right while trying to avoid every enemy. Right past an elite guard is an unlocked cell. Head inside, and unless it took you 30 minutes to get here, you'll find Lagarde. Have him join your party and give him Miasma, then run past the enemies again. Break down the wooden door with normal attacks to find a Book of Enlightenment, and then use it to save. At this point, you can just backtrack up to the entrance and get the worst ending, or you can keep playing with your overpowered sword and two powerful knights and explore the game. Yeah, you can beat this game in like 8 minutes. If you have any questions about this video or becoming overpowered in fear and hunger, leave a comment or better yet, come ask me during one of my streams.